Hello my sweets, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. So today I bring to you part three of my Chanel inspired DIY videos uh, that you guys continue to highly, highly request. So this is part three, I did promise that I would bring this to you guys. So to get started, for our first DIY, you're going to need the same wreath that we used in my previous Chanel video and it's the Dollar Tree 8 inch wreath, metal wreath. So what you're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it white and I finally got a wire cutter. Oh my god, this is such a lifesaver. This is a good brand. I love it. It's a Stanley, um, some pliers and it really, really, you're going to need this for this you know metal piece so that you can go ahead and cut it with no problem so what you want to do is just like I showed you in my previous video you're gonna come in right now I'm telling you to come in uh, two inches but I do recommend that you start maybe with one and a half so one and a half in and then from the top and one and a, in one and a half inch in from top and bottom so as you can see I had no problem cutting that but this is what happens sometimes while while you're going back and forth trying to cut the wreath that can happen just go ahead and use your strongest glue just make sure that both pieces are even and level like you see here so now i went ahead and i loosely put my first zip tie on top i didn't tighten it right away until i you know make sure i have my uh cc logo the way i want it you don't want it two together or too far apart you want to mimic the logo as much as you can and then you want to go ahead and tie your zip ties and snip off the ends now you're going to need some of these um ping pong balls i guess you call them <laughs> you can find those at the dollar tree and i'm going to be using this light string light uh you can use fairy lights but i do recommend using these th uh these um for what I'm going to be doing. So you wanna go ahead and create a slit, but you wanna be gentle with these ping pong balls because they do dent e easily. You just wanna cut through enough that your lights are gonna go through just the way you see here. So now you wanna go ahead and use your strongest glue. I recommend, as always, you guys, for the video, I'm gonna use um, hot glue, but I do recommend that you use your strongest glue. Um, I'm going to be off camera and I do apologize for that but you want to go ahead and apply your ping pong balls a little further out uh, from the end of the wreath that you cut if that makes sense you'll see as we go along just make sure that as you place them that you do not obstruct the hole that you made uh, in the back because that's where you're going to insert your lights of course then you want to go ahead and reinforce it again with some more glue, some of your strongest glue. This way it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to apply my balls. So on my right C, I managed to fit 12 balls. And on the left one, it was about 10. And I did have to snip a little bit off of the ends of the wreath um, because it was a little too long so you're just gonna have to play around with it and adjust it and kind of feel it out and place your balls um, as you go because I know that doesn't sound right you guys but that's what they are ping pong balls so now I'm using this metallic paint from Walmart um, you could use a metallic pearl spray paint that Lowe's and Home Depot sell and I do regret not using it. It's just that it's very, very expensive and I kind of just went the cheaper route and I'll show you what happens later on in the video. Uh, but I do recommend if you want to invest some money and especially if you want to use lights that you go ahead and invest in that spray paint. So here, what we're creating, if, it, if I didn't tell you already, it's a brooch, a Chanel brooch. And so that's what I'm uh, making it look like. So now I'm just embellishing it with some chains because we all know that Chanel is a mixture of pearls and chains, gold and silver, black and white, that sort of thing. So I'm just creating some embellishments on my brooch. And it's just like a jumbo, you know, large, extra large size um, decor piece brooch. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. 
and that's what it's looking like so far and so next what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm gonna take some I'm gonna snip off some loose pearls here and all those gaps that you see on the brooch I'm gonna fill them in with the smaller um, pearls So now what I'm doing is I did use uh, two lights, one for each C. And so you kind of just want to go around the C, uh, tuck them in, glue them every so often where necessary. Just make it look unisom and neat. Um, these particular lights have the bulky battery pack. I don't know if this particular lights uh, come with a smaller light you can use the fairy lights but you won't be able to poke them in through the uh, ping pong balls so that's why I went with this but they did get in the way so in the end I'll show you everything together you guys for the next DIY you're gonna use one of those little plastic containers from the Dollar Tree you're gonna need some of the stock paper or you can use some Mod Podge and some black glitter I decided to go the easier route and use this um, you know glittered paper that you can get at any of the craft stores so basically you're going to fit it to size and what we're creating today is a lighted chanel credit card uh, decorative display lighted credit card chanel credit card inspired i went ahead and i'm going to use this gold um, rhinestone wrap and i'm going to apply it not exactly along the edge a little bit in maybe a quarter inch in or half a quarter inch, if that makes sense. You just don't want to apply it. Um, and I'm trying to mimic the one that I saw online. So now I'm using a combination of these letters, the black and white letters from Dollar Tree and those gold ones I got at, you know, I got it at, I think it was Lidl or something like that. It's a supermarket, but you can get these letters, like I said, anywhere, any craft store. Um, and so now I'm just spelling out Chanel there, of course. Um, this is supposed to be a credit card, like I've already mentioned. And now I'm just applying my numbers. I think I used a total of, let me see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think it was. And you can place any random numbers or you can place any numbers that have any kind of significance to you guys. That's what I did. And I went ahead and print out a pink logo and Mod Podge did there and then also my name. Obviously I'm not going to use my real name but Beauty Me CIY but you guys all know my name is Helen if you don't know by now. <laughs> so Dollar Tree just started carrying these beautiful um, pearl sticker sheets. And if you find them guys stack, stock up on them because they do go fast and you never know when they're going to bring them back. So moving on to our next DIY, um, I was going to use books for this. You can definitely get dollar books at Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree was getting rid of, rid of these boxes and I asked the lady and she gave them to me. Uh, they're just like, you know, storage boxes and um, they look like books when you stack them up just the way that you see here. Um, I would have much rather used real books, but I was being cheap and I say, why not? <laughs> So I decided to use this paper that I had on hand. It's glitter paper. I do not like it. I don't recommend it. It's by the brand um, Duck, I think. And it's a very thin uh, paper, but it stains very easily and it rips very easily. Although it's pretty, I don't like it. I did try to find the uh, contact brand, the white one at Walmart. I didn't find it, so I ended up using this. So what I did was that I glued four of the boxes together and then the last one I just kind of laid on its side. Again, I'm just trying to mimic um, books. And this is something that they actually sell, so I am mimicking it. Um, I went ahead and Mod Podge the quote, and I didn't like the way that it came out, so I, I removed it. And then I went and got some uh, cardboard some white cardboard and I'm just covering it all up and I'm just kind of starting from scratch again um, because like I said I didn't like the way it turned out the first time and then I went ahead and printed out a, sh a Coco Chanel quote it says beauty begins the moment you decide 
to, I forgot what it said. Oh yeah, be yourself. And it's one of her quotes. So you can use any quote that you see online and I'm just dividing it throughout the books and I'm just embellishing it with some rhinestone wrap just to kind of define the books a little bit more. yep that's how that's turning out so moving on to our next DIY you're gonna need two of these square shadow plastic frames uh, from the Dollar Tree any cardstock that you want this is what I had on hand you're gonna cut it to size you're gonna place it in there and then again you want to use your strongest glue for the video I'm going to use my hot glue but I do recommend because coming up I'm going to be using mirrors you want to go ahead and use your strongest glue you're going to place your mirrors there and right now what we're creating are just some bookends So now you're going to go ahead and make sure everything is aligned properly and you're going to glue them together. So what I did was um, I grabbed one of these big balls from the toy section of Dollar Tree and I painted it with the same pearl metallic uh, paint that I got from Walmart by Folk Arts. And you want to give it quite a few coats of paint. And what I'm creating here is a bookend and a lot of us have seen the ones that have the diamonds but I decided since this is a Chanel inspired video that why not do them with pearls and that right there is a ping pong ball that I uh, painted with the same paint and so you want to go ahead and grab a variety of sizes of pearls and kind of randomly place them the way you want them to look until you're satisfied and you're happy and that's going to create our pearl bookends. I thought this was pretty unique and I've never seen this before and I thought they were really, really pretty. And then I decided to grab two uh, fairy lights, one for each box and you're just going to go ahead and wrap them around in the inside so that you can light them up. And I will have a link to the fairy lights that have the very small compact um, battery pack. I finally, finally ordered those and they should be coming soon. So now I'm just um, finishing it off by trimming the ends. So for our next DIY, you're gonna grab a champagne bottle or an empty wine bottle. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna remove the label. You really don't have to because you're gonna go ahead and glitter it anyway. So here I am outside, I'm using the Elmhurst spray bonding adhesive bonding spray you're gonna spray your bottle and then you're gonna sprinkle on the uh, glitter and until you have everything covered <laughs> so this is how my the first round turned out I wasn't happy at all and later on you'll see that I covered the bottle in almost black and silver because I didn't like and I did away with the pink Chanel logo and I redid that so basically what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing some pearls of different sizes because you know how when you open up a champagne bottle all the bubbles and you know everything <laughs> comes out of the champagne bottle so um, what I was trying to do is mimic that but in this case um, have it be pearls just to go with the Chanel theme so I thought that was pretty unique and a good idea so these pearls are kind of mimicking the bubbles that come out when you first open a champagne bottle that sort of thing so you want to place them randomly or make them look like a, like they're cascading down your the bottle like this you just open up a bottle and everything is just pouring out sort of speak so this is my first time doing it it came out okay could have been better but nonetheless I think it came out nice um, but yeah this is what I'm trying to do so here I am just fiddling with it trying to see where I want to place everything and so as you can see here I redid the whole thing um, I like the way this turned out better I'm replacing the logo with the white pearls instead of the pink I replaced the most of the bottle with black glitter and silver on top and I really do like the way this turned out much better than the first round 
So for our last DIY, you're going to grab one of these containers that they have in the stores right now at Dollar Tree. You're going to go ahead and spray paint them. I do recommend you give it quite a few coats and if possible, spray paint it inside. Um, I think it would look best. So I went online and I printed out the Chanel perfume uh, logo or the, you know, the label for the perfume. I think this might be a 3x3 three three or a 4x4. Four four. You can go ahead and print it whatever size suits your um, flower box. And I went ahead and also printed out the Chanel logo. So now I'm just mod podging everything to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for my flower box. And I saw this online and I'm just pretty much mimicking what I saw and just giving my own personal touch. And so coming right up, I'm going to, Dollar Tree used to carry this nice black tape, but you can use electrical tape or you can use a thin, thin ribbon. Um, I just happen to have this and I'm just going to outline the top and the bottom because again, I'm just uh, mimicking what I saw online. And then now I'm just giving it my own personal touch, of course, with a little bling here and there, diamonds, and I'm just going to outline the label. And with the uh, top, I went ahead and I uh, have these um, beads or, how do you call them, <laughs> pearl-like black that I got at Michael's, this box. They come in different shapes and I'm just kind of embellishing the logo and again this is the top to the flower box. And this is how everything turned out you guys. This is the end result. There goes the flower box. I think it turned out so beautiful. There goes our lighted uh, Chanel quote unquote credit card. <laughs> And this is our jumbo brooch. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I know on the previous videos, you guys love the CC logo light. I thought I'd give it a different twist and create a jumbo brooch. And again, this is the top to our flower box. And this is the way that our books turned out. Um, those pink letters, that was my husband's idea. It so happens that it has a letter of my channel, which is a B M D Beauty Beast DIY. I thought that was pretty unique of him to think of. Uh, so yeah, I do love the way that turned out. There goes our wine bottle, champagne bottle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can customize this to any color that you want. You can place your bubbles, so to speak, pearls, however, which way you want. This is my first try. Uh, but nonetheless, I do like the way everything turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, you know, and oh, let's not forget the bookends. Those turned out really, really nice. I think they're pretty unique. I know Z Gallery has uh, a version of this with a bunch of diamonds, but I thought, wow, I've never seen it with a pearl. And so I decided to do that. And I love the way it's lighted in the bottom. And I... I love it I, and of course you want to create two of them I just created one for the video but um, yeah I do love the way that it turned out you guys I, I really do like the way the books turned out if I had to do it uh, again I would definitely use real books nonetheless this turned out pretty nice so coming right up I'm going to show you my little dilemma that I ran into with my brooch so here's the thing when you light it up, it's going to show all the uh, paint strokes of the paint that I use. So I did not like that, of course. So if I were to use this, I would not light it up. Now, if I did want to light it up, I would go ahead and redo it. But this time I would use the spray paint from Lowe's or Home Depot, which I believe they carry a pearl metallic. And so that would give it a more unisome you know more sleeker look without the strokes and so that when you light it up it won't show all of this so I did want to show you what that looks like um, if you do want to light it up again I recommend that you do not use uh, the painting you know you know the brush stroke method uh, you know you might want to go ahead and spray paint it instead 
But nonetheless, I think everything turned out beautiful. Please, please let me know which is your favorite one. Let me know if you like all of them or which one do you plan to recreate. Um, I do love doing these Chanel videos. I did say this was going to be my last one, but hey, you guys seem to love them. You continue to keep asking me for them. You want me to keep doing videos like this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you want more videos like this, you guys, and that you want me to recreate. If you want more Chanel inspired and specifically, or just be specific and let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.